My name is David Siddons and I'm an independent analyst of new condo construction throughout Miami and Fort Lauderdale and this is the new Cipriani product in Brickell and this is Stefan Burke who's going to share information with us on the project as we dive into what is the best unit in this project. Stefan, thank you for doing the video with us. Thank you David for being here, welcome. It's a, it's a pleasure. Um, the showroom is absolutely gorgeous. We're standing right here in the sales office which has a very Cipriani style. I feel like I'm gonna sit down and wanna have dinner any minute right now. There's a big aspect to this project about the Cipriani family and the brand and I was speaking with you guys about coming in and, and meeting with the Cipriani family to discuss. They're very, very, very strict about what information they're putting out there and, and how this property is being presented and they're really curating, I think it's fair to say, every piece of this project. Getting into that, pick up the phone and give me a call and I'll explain the kind of processes that they're using in this so you can just understand the quality. We're gonna go straight into what we think are the best units in the project. There are many that might work for you, but I'm gonna to focus on one line. I'm gonna focus on a stack of, of units which sits right at the top of the project. Welcome to Venice on Brickle. This is the finest Italian luxury project in Miami. We are Venetian made, top quality, Italy meets Miami. We have the Canaletto collection. It consists of the floors 62 and higher all the way up to our penthouses. This got my attention. Probably the most dominant conversation that I have with buyers right now who are looking at new construction in Miami is I'm looking for a primary residence. And in Brickell, we haven't had the environment for very large units that serve at a very luxury level, these primary residents. What got my attention was this unit the Canaletto collection has one particular line that I'm going to get into, which is the four bedroom line. I've studied all the units in all the new projects through Miami, and obviously, of course, I've drilled down into Brickell. This is located where those three are located on that south side of Brickell, which is a lot more residential. It's a lot prettier, it's a lot more trees, a lot more walkable. And it's also a lot easier to escape the hubbub of Brickell when traffic gets crazy by jumping down onto the 95 freeway, which you can do in maybe a couple of minutes. Absolutely, about four quick. minutes. Four minutes. The four bedrooms, now these ones are are around 3,500 square feet? Correct. And I've studied this floor plan and I'm gonna share with you what I found. What's interesting about this particular four floor plan, these four bedroom units, is that firstly, they have really big wraparound terraces. There are other buildings that have uh, four bedrooms in Brickell in the new construction market, but they don't have wraparound. So if wraparound is important to you and it goes all the way around and these terraces are how big? First of all, it's 180 degrees and they start at 1,200 square feet to even 1,700 square feet outside. Okay, so these are exterior terraces, which that's big. 1,200 to 1,700 square feet for an exterior terrace, that's a lot. So if you want to look at your sunrise and your sunset, exactly, then this is, this exactly. is really great. It's true living outside. Yeah, yeah. You're standing where east is, so the water is right where you are. I'm standing where the south is, and then obviously over here, we've got the west. You're gonna see that the south views are unobstructed. You have nothing but single family homes to the south of you, all the way through to Coconut Grove, Coral Gables and beyond. Absolutely. What outside of the size of the terrace, which is really interesting to look at, is the size of the living room space. It's actually a pretty generous living room. It's really open. And if you want kind of that open look, that open floor plan where you're in the kitchen and you're really looking out over the view, you can see where the kitchen's located and how that view will be. Exactly, you have a beautiful um, view from the kitchen. Yeah. And a lot of space. And it's on one plate. What's different about the Canaletto um, collection compared to the rest of the building? Great question, David. Uh, the Canaletto collection is very special in our Cipriani Miami residences. First of all, it's on the 62nd floor. It encompasses much higher views and also you have private elevators as well. The other factor that's very interesting is that you have the option to upgrade to different kinds of finishes. This is just the, the icing on the cake. But what's really different is those private elevators because you don't get that in the rest of the building and that kind of makes it a little bit different to the rest of the pack. What are we looking at price-wise for the Canaletto four-bedroom collection? So the four-bedroom starts at 5.9 million, going up to 7 million. We have a few at 6.5. We have a very well-priced four-bedrooms. Yeah. So our Canaletto two-bedrooms, they're starting about 3 million and we also have two bedrooms on the other side. It's about three and a half million. So if you want to understand the numbers within the market and you really want to appreciate how this stacks up, we've reviewed every single new construction condo in Miami, once again, just to highlight that, and we've covered all the prices. 
and I can tell you as you look at this, these are very competitive. I'm not sure when you're watching this video, but as of right now, there's some very compelling statistics to show you why this one could definitely be a premier choice for you if you're looking for a new construction large unit in Brickell. So it just literally came out, so it's interesting razor point. There is a record-breaking sale that happened in this building, and it's a record for Brickell, um, and it was the penthouse. Correct. We sold our first penthouse in the summer for a record-breaking price on land. Uh, we were asking 16.2 million and we sold at 33.33 a square foot. Okay, that is a, that's a record. Typically, you, you wouldn't see that until you get to Miami Beach level. So, Stefan, thank you for doing this. As You're very always, welcome. If you have any questions, as always, shoot me an email, give thank me you. a call. And um, I look forward to seeing you again. Me too. Thank All you right, for coming. Thank you.